Welcome. So what I want to do is I want to kind of go over uh, these four little definitions and then kind of determine what exactly definition I have here for my two angles A and B. Can I determine if they're going to be complementary, supplementary, adjacent, or vertical? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over an example of each one of those, and then we can determine what exactly this is going to be. So when dealing with complementary angles, all right, so let's start with complementary. Complementary angles are going to be two angles that degree measure are going to add up to 90 degrees. Now, we can represent 90 degrees as a right angle. All right. So if I have a right angle and I know that it's 90 degrees, if I was going to create two angles, let's say A and B again, if those two angles add up to give me 90 degrees, I have complementary angles. When talking about supplementary, they're going to be very simple, similar to the complementary angles, but supplementary angles are going to be two angles that add up to give me 90 degrees. I'm sorry, 180 degrees. So 180 degrees can re be represented by using a straight angle. All right? And you can see the straight angle is half of a circle. And a circle would be 360, so half of that is 180. So let's say I had my two angles, A and B. Well, if the measures of those two angles added up to 180, I would have supplementary angles. Now, adjacent angles are all the adjacent angles are going to be is angles that are going to share at least one side. So when we're looking at adjacent angles, let's just look at something like this. If the angles, it doesn't matter what they measure up to, but if my angles A and B at share the same side, then they're going to be adjacent. And then let's look at vertical angles. Vertical angles are going to be angles that are going to be sharing a vertex. So let's see, we can see we have an intersection here. And let's say I have A and B. Now, vertical angles, are going to, they're going to share a vertex, but they're not going to share a side. Where these adjacent share a vertex, but they also share a side, vertical angles are going to be opposite of each other. And they're also going to be equal in length. So when vertical are equal in measure. So vertical angles are equal in measure. Adjacent just share a side and a vertex. Complementary add up to 180. Sorry, supplementary add up to 180. Complementary add up to 90. Now, in this example, we don't have any measure. So we can't determine if it's complementary or supplementary because it's not saying what the measure of these are. Vertical, we're not seeing an intersection. Well, we see that they share a side, so we know it can't be vertical. So therefore, this, these two angles, A and B, have to be adjacent. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a quick little overview of our four main angles. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.